Hey guys, how no, my new pals, all my friends and folks out here. Woo! Chewy. It is hot in here. You know, it's a nice day. I want the sun, but I don't want the heat. <laughs> I'm a very interesting person, you know. I want to be able to wear my jacket and have a cold room, but I also want to be able to like have the sun shining into my room. But they say you can't have your cake and eat it too. You can only eat part of it if you want part of it. So, um, unless it's an affinity cake, but still. Anyway, here we are. Coming back from the second reading of Unknown Love Between Two Boys, Damision, by Kaya Love Shiku, Yu Yu, 156. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I also hope that you check out all of our socials. I also hope that I don't mess up when I see Alfred and Alfred and I say Alfred. That's how deep I am into the Voltron fandom. Oh, Ray's also good at them, as well as DC. But, you know, unknown love time, am I right? Yeah, I am. So anyway, here we go, here we are. Do remember that the chapters are short, so we will probably, most likely, read more than one in each reading. If you are new to our channel, or newer, just don't forget to check us out on all of our socials and look at some other videos. Look around. We got stuff. By the way, I've uploaded so many things and not everything pops up under my videos on my channel. So also keep that in mind, by the way. Anyway, I'll be sure to put all the links that you probably will need for your discussion down in the little box below. What is it? Uh, I literally forget what it's called right now, but when I remember, I'll, I'll just randomly say it. Anyway, let's get into it. Out his house. John's POV. I wasn't ready to face anyone, mostly Damien. But I had to since I was at his house. My father and mother weren't there because work was more important than me, I guess. I walked into his house and Alfred said, Why, well, welcome home, Master Damien and Master John. Well, 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 thanks, Alfred. Damien then walked with Alfred. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I have been struggling since I've gotten to the wall John band, and seriously, I have. You, well, I just sat there at the dining table, just being quiet. Then Damien says, John, come with me. Then we went to his room. Oh, what is gonna happen? Third POV. John sat on Damien's bed, just keeping quiet. Not saying the world. Damien wanted to talk to John. So they talked about what happened. Oh my gosh. And we miss it, people. Three hours later, time skip. Vixen's POV. I went missing. I ran away from all the chaos. Damien and I hated each other. So. When Damien found out about me and John being friends for years, he was so mad, so I ran away and I didn't come back. My life isn't not good at all. At least that was until John came along. And from that day forward, we've never been apart from each other, except for now. Now it's different. Aww. Oh, here's just a little exclamation for 200 reads and being really happy. So, um, just basically just where the author says thank you. 
Anyway, next chapter. Ooh, the kiss. Very POV. When Damien and John were taking Jay on, um, we're talking. John had only one shot at this, so he turned how to face Damien and kissed him on his lips. This, this, this moves really fast. 20 minutes later, things got heated real fast. I won't say what they did, but John was watching a movie with his new boyfriend, Damien. Yeah. We're going to find another fic probably to read if this doesn't even out by the next one. I mean, if you guys want me to finish this one, like, if all of y'all want me to finish this, I will. But, um, I can also find a better fic. So, um, leave that down below in the comics. You know, um, by the way, uh, check out the description box for all the links. But seriously, if you want me to move on, tell me. I will. I'm okay with reading this if y'all just want to finish this, but, um, you know, it might lighten out, might get better in the next couple of chapters, so I don't want to, like, exactly jump the bridge and be like, no, but if you want me to leave this one on, say it down below, definitely say it down below. John POV. John's POV. I can't believe I kissed Damien and that he liked me back. Well, things got hit fast, but all that matters is that I'm with Damien. And it's question marks POV, which probably means that they're bringing in a new character that we don't know yet. Things haven't been right. Now I'm all alone in a war. I've lost Vixen, my older sister, and my younger sister, Mia. I want them back, but the family call will be made sooner than later. But one thing is for sure. I will be alone until I see them again. Okay, it's a little author's note saying sorry about not updating. I feel like it's gonna level out at some point, but are we really gonna wait for that? I'm gonna go on, but still. I will definitely tell you if it doesn't level out in the next couple of chapters, we're gonna change. I know it's been a lot of changes in fanfics, but I don't know if I'm exactly for this one. So, John POV. Can things get any worse? Well, yes, things can because I have to get ready for a so called date. Me and Damien are going undercover for a mission. So, yeah, but I wish this was a real date. But I agreed to this, so I have to get ready to go. 30 minutes later, I'm finally done getting ready. Now, to wait for him? Where the hell is he? He didn't forget, right? Damn it, bless it, really. Damien, why the heck do you have to do me like this? Ugh. No. F I have for his lazy butt. And now I have to wait for him. How long do I have to wait for him? I mean, seriously, what am I going to do? You know, what if he doesn't show up in a bit? Then I will have to go back inside my house and let him do this mission by himself. He never showed up. Am I not worth it? 
I can't do this. I'm going back inside. The next morning. Well, good morning, world. I guess I'm... Ugh, why am I so sore? Whatever, I don't care at the moment. Time to get ready for the terrible day ahead of me. What happened? John's POV. I need an explanation for Damien. Because this bullcrap. Now where is my phone? God dang it. Bless it. Now I have to search for it. Oh, how great. I'll find it within 15 minutes. Here we go. You know, I totally understand. The moment, like, you lose any electronic or something, and it's, like, right in your bed or something, and it's just, like, it's there. Like, maybe it's just right next to you, but, like, you got up in, like, the middle of the night or something, turned on the light, and, like, threw the covers around. <laughs> and you're, like, where the heck is it? And it's, like, right next to you. It's like that one thing that's just right next to you the whole entire time and you didn't see it. Ah, I know what that feels like. That's me without my glasses in the morning sometimes. But you know, I'm not totally blind. 15 minutes later. God, I finally found my phone. Now to call Damien. I hope he will answer. God, I hope he answers. God, I hope he does. I need an explanation. What do you need, Kent? A goddamn explanation, Damien. Blessed explanation. Why do you need one? About last night, Damien. You never showed up. Why is that? Were you too busy to call me and tell me about it? I was too busy to call. I'm sorry, John. It's fine. I, I'll call you later. The call ended. You had too busy? Well, at least it wasn't something else. Wait a minute. Is that? No, I can't. It can't be. She, she left a long time ago. It's really her. Destiny. Scar, a.k.a. Jackie. Ooh, what's happening? You have to be deep into DC to understand this. Um, I'm just gonna put that out there. This is getting good. Raise POV. Ooh, that will be in the next one. Because it we are running over to 13 minutes now, I'm going to end it. But I cannot wait for the next chapter. It's about to be real good. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I definitely have. I don't think we'll actually give out on this one quite yet. Don't know about you. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Bye, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.